Tonight on Documentify TV, we explore a masterpiece of Roman artistry, a beautiful example of the skill, dedication, and perhaps even closely guarded techniques of ancient craftspeople. This is the Lycurgus Cup. Found in the 19th century, its full history is still not entirely known. Believed to date back to the 4th century AD, it shows scenes from the myth of King Lycurgus of Thrace, a story of arrogance and divine punishment. But beyond the story it tells, there's something truly remarkable about how it was made. Lit from the front, the glass is a subtle jade green. But when light shines through it, it comes alive, glowing a vibrant, almost magical red. This stunning effect wasn't a lucky accident. It reveals a level of craftsmanship that even today is impressive. The Romans were known for their glassmaking, creating beautiful works of art. But the Lycurgus Cup shows a skill that went even beyond the ordinary. In 1990, researchers uncovered the secret of the color change. The glass contains incredibly tiny particles of gold and silver. Particles so small, about 50 nanometers across, they are invisible without powerful microscopes. But how did Roman artisans achieve this centuries before such technology existed? These nanoparticles, carefully ground and mixed into the molten glass, interact with light in a special way. The exact mix of gold and silver, roughly a 3 to 7 ratio, with silver being more abundant and the incredibly small size of the particles, are crucial. They create what's called a plasmonic effect, causing light to scatter differently based on where it's coming from, creating that dramatic color shift. We might call this nanotechnology now, but the Roman artisans likely didn't have our scientific terms. Instead, they had a deep, practical understanding of their materials. One strong hypothesis is that they used a process called colloidal gold production. They might have started by dissolving gold and silver in aqua regia, a highly corrosive mixture of nitric and hydrochloric acids. This would create a solution containing gold and silver ions. Then, by adding a reducing agent, perhaps tin or antimony, which were known to the Romans, they could have precipitated out tiny particles of gold and silver, forming a colloid. This colloid, with its incredibly fine particles, could then be added to the molten glass. The precise control over the particle size and the ratio of gold to silver would have been incredibly challenging. It likely involved repeated cycles of heating, cooling, and grinding, possibly even adding the metals in stages. This speaks to a level of specialized knowledge, probably passed down through families and workshops, refined over generations. It was a process demanding extreme precision and a keen eye. The Lycurgus Cup isn't just a pretty object. It's a window into the minds of incredibly skilled people. It shows that artistry and technical skill often go together. These were artists who clearly took great pride in their work, pushing the limits of what was possible, using techniques that we are only beginning to fully understand. The Lycurgus Cup remains a powerful symbol of Roman creativity and artistic brilliance, a beautiful creation made of glass that continues to amaze and inspire. That's it for today's video, folks. See you next time, right here on Documentify TV.